Hi everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 8B. Today we're going to finish up everything in Unit 8, starting with the triple meter song. Go ahead and move with me, please. Bum, 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 sing with me. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three. Moving in three, moving in three. Triple now, feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant, macro beats on do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Echo me. Do, da, dee, do, da, da, dee. Do, da, da, dee, da, do. Do ta da dee do da ta dee ta do da ta dee ta do do ta da dee do da ta dee ta do da ta dee ta do do ta da ta dee do da dee do ta da ta dee do do ta da ta dee do da dee do ta da ta dee do do da dee do ta da dee ta do da dee do do da dee do ta da dee ta do da dee do I'm going to chant a pattern. You tell me the function. Ba 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 ba. Division. Ba 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 ba. Macro micro. Do da di do. Do da di. Rest. Ooh, throwing that one in again. Do da di, do da di, do ta da di ta do. Division. What I'm trying to do now, now that I've gone through this a little bit, is to give you time to audiate the entire pattern in the same speed that I had chanted it originally. So I'm giving you time. You don't have to chant it back. You can, if that's helpful for you, or you can just think it through in your head and then give you time to respond. All right, so I'm going to sing a song called Planting Cabbage. Bum, 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 bum. So if there are two of you on the other side of the camera, I'm gonna sing this two times, I'd like for you to do a mirror dance. One of you will be a mirror the first time. The other one of you will be the mirror the second time. So decide who's leading and who is following. So we're gonna do it two times. If there is one of you on the other side of the camera, then the first time, go ahead and be my mirror. So I will make a movement and you mirror it. And then the second time, you can do any movement that you would like. This time, either switch who's the mirror or go ahead and do your own movement. We're going to do some rhythm patterns in triple meter. We're going to put some of these rest patterns with syllables. Do da di do, do da di, do da di do, do da di, do da di do, di do, di do, do da di do, di do, di do, do da di, do da di do, do da di, do da di do, do da di, da di do, do da di. Do da di do da di do do da di do da di do do da di do da di do. Actually, I didn't have you breathe at the right place. Let's do that pattern again. So I breathe, and then there's a rest, and then you start. Do da di do da di do rest. 
Do da dee do da dee do. It's a little tricky to coordinate. We could do this. Do da do da do da dee do da dee do da do da do da dee do da dee. Do da dee do da dee do da dee. Do da dee do da dee do da dee. Do dee da dee da dee do da dee. Do dee da dee da dee do da dee. So again, like in our previous unit, it's certainly possible to do rest patterns with other things than macro beats and micro beats. But I'm using those as a jumping off point to get us started with rest patterns. All right, go ahead and come to the keyboard. So today we're looking at this part of the page. You may have looked at this yourself. You may have done it already. If so, woohoo. So keyboard skills, major cadences. So really, this is going to tie together all of the work that we have done so far with major triads. It's all coming to fruition here in this moment. So major triads at the very top. In major tonality, the triads for the cadence, one, four, five, one, or tonic, subdominant, dominant, tonic, are all major triads. One tonic is do mi so, four subdominant is fa la do, and five dominant is so ti re. So first of all, that's just background information, and then play major triads on each of the 12 different piano keys. Hey, you've been practicing this for the last couple of weeks. E so here's your pop quiz before we start. E flat major. D flat major. G, sh G sharp? No, 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 no. G flat major. I'm trying to think G, G flat and F sharp at the same time. D major. B flat major. One more. A major. Okay, so play major triads on each of the 12 different piano keys. So you can practice all 12. Go ahead and take a moment now. Then, major, tonic, and dominant. Choose any piano key, say the letter name, and call it Do. For example, G is Do. Hello, Do. Do is the resting tone for major tonality. Use the selected Do to play tonic, dominant, tonic arpeggios. So remember, whenever you find Do, Do be so, there's your So you're going to use for your dominant chord. down for so. You may be used to going up for do, that's fine. Either way is okay, I would be consistent. Now, Play the tonic, dominant, tonic arpeggios on each of the 12 different piano keys. All of them. So A flat major. C sharp major. major tonic and subdominant. Choose any piano key. Say the letter name and call it Do. For example, F is Do. Hello, Do. Use the selected Do to play tonic, subdominant tonic arpeggios. So if you're going up, 
or do re mi fa. Remember, mi and fa are the keys right next to each other. Fa and where our fa water, our subdominant chord is. that same key down. You can go either direction. I would go the same direction that you went for the dominant chord. Now if you're finding I can only play up for the subdominant chord, I can't play down, that's fine. You'll be able to do this next thing playing the dominant chord up too. You'll be fine. So. We could do D. Again, we could do A flat. Here's your Fa. You could do uh, F sharp. So go ahead and play all 12 tonic subdominant tonic arpeggios. And last but not least, drum roll everyone, this is the big moment. Choose any piano key, say the letter name and call it Do. For example, A is Do. Hello, Do. Do is the resting tone for major tonality. Use the selected Do to play tonic subdominant dominant tonic arpeggios. Subdominant, dominant, tonic cadences on oh, the arpeggios. Arpeggios. Yay! This was the big moment that we've all been waiting for was being able to play all of the tonic, subdominant, dominant, tonic arpeggios on every key. Yay! All of this work on major triads has led to this wonderful moment and we'll continue to use them in other things. But yay! That was so exciting to be able to do that. So continue to practice these things all week long. You don't have to do all of them every day. You could say one day you're going to work on all the major triads. Another day you're going to do major tonic and dominant on all of them. You, another day you're going to do major tonic and subdominant on all of them. You'll do the tonic subdominant dominant tonic so you can split it up that way that's totally fine but make sure that over the course of the next two weeks while you're on this unit 8b you're practicing all of those things okay there is one other little thing for keyboard geography and technique uh, two little things over on the left side number two here play any major scale with one finger using syncopated pedaling we are just really wanting to work on this pedaling. You want this to be an automatic thing that you don't have to think about. That's redundant. Automatic and you don't have to think about it. Brought to you by the Department of Redundancy Department. Quickly locate all the piano keys by letter name. That's number five. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you're continuing to practice the naturals, the sharps, the flats, the double sharps, and the double flats. So pop quiz. D double flat, A double sharp, E double flat, G double sharp, 
D natural, F sharp, C flat, A flat, B double sharp. Continue practicing those just so that it, again, is automatic and you don't have to think, okay. Exploration, creativity, improvisation. We're doing the second one over here. Change the tonality and meter of Daughter Come Home. So you can make it into major tonality. Gives it a very different feel, as it always does when we change the tonality. or in another major tonality. And then the meter, try it in triple meter. You can do that in the original tonality or in your new one. Do da dee do, here we go. so already talk to me about the supplementary piece that uses this tune. There's a wonderful beautiful arrangement by Bartok that if you have not already learned we're going to work on. So talk to me about it if you haven't already done this. It's so beautiful and it has a different tonality than what we've just played. Not major, not minor, but something else. Ooh. So talk to me about that if you have not done that already. I have it in my notes here, but I'd like for you to learn that as a supplementary piece. And then we're going to look at review. Uh, oh yes, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, for exploration, creativity, improvisation, there's something that's not in the book. We're going to do a change tonality project. We're going to listen to Russian Folk Song 2. This is a song that you know. You can go ahead and sing this with me. There we go. So here's what it sounds like. Go ahead and join me. It's, it's twice in a row. It's repeated. You can join me the second time. Bum, bum, bum. Here I go. Bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, bum. Go ahead and move in two while we play, while we while we sing. Bum bum bum, sing once more. Bum 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 bum. Now. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. I'm going to sing this in major tonality. Bum, 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 listen, please. Bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, 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 ba, bum, bum. And I also realized that it's it's not quite the same the second time through. The last note was different, so I'm sure you caught on to that. Thank you for joining me in singing that in a new tonality. Now we're looking at book two. Moving right along here with our review for book two. We're going to finish up unit 18. French Lullaby is on page 48. We're going to play this in a new tonality and a new meter today. So we could play this in E minor. Do, do, 
I do, here I go. And that's going to be difficult to do the accompaniment. Actually, the accompaniment is all on white keys. So, just start with your middle finger on re, la, ti, do, re. Go ahead and try that in E minor or another minor tonality. And then new meter. Go ahead and see if you can put this in triple meter. And we'll talk about that at our check-in. And just now you could have played that either in the E minor that we just played or you could have played it in the original G major. Either way is totally fine. Let's go ahead and look over now at German folk songs. This is page 50. We're in unit 19. So today we're going to review the melody. We're going to review the, the accompaniment. And then we're looking at the tonal pattern today. So we're going to have some fun looking at this tonal pattern. Continuing our idea of these deep tonal patterns. So here's what it sounds like. I'll play it a couple of times. Do da di do. Here I go. So at the beginning, the melody is based around. same thing starting on do. And then we go third pattern. Fourth pattern. And then we have a little turn around from T going down to La. Go ahead and play the melody with me while I play both. A is la, melody starts on la. Do da di do, ready, play. Go ahead and play the accompaniment. Notice that at the beginning of the song, the first half, we have la, si, Pattern, it's the same thing. The whole rest of the song. Five one, five one, five one, five one. Go ahead and play that accompaniment with me. If you can, you can go hands together. Do da di do, ready, play. tonal pattern. Go ahead and pause and practice those two things. First of all, if you need to do that, try playing in hands together. All right, the tonal pattern. So we can start off with the melodic pattern. We can do the melodic pattern of the whole song, and then we're going to look at this in the four, four chunks of the song, the four melodic patterns that are in the song. So we could sing, la, la, do, do, ti, la, ti, la. Way. That's the original melodic pattern. Now, for our first melodic pattern, we can have our 
surface structure. We can have our deep structure. So here's what our surface structure would look like. We take out the repeated notes and then sing the two T laws. That's our surface structure. Now, in a, as a tonal pattern, that would be la da ti la ti la. A deeper structure would be to think of that as T moving away from T and coming back to T and then settling on La. Which is what our harmony does. We call that, that little move away from T and back, we call that a neighbor. It's like, hi neighbor, you go over here and then you just come back again. Pop over to the neighbors and come back home. T neighbor la, T neighbor la. So, the deeper tonal pattern in this first section would be la, do, ti, la, which I don't know about you, but when I hear that pattern, that sounds to me a lot more like the song. La, do, ti, la. It's like I can hear the song going through my head. Whereas if I sing la, do, ti, la, ti, la, the song becomes a little more distorted. And I think that's because in general, this is following also the harmony and keeping the same harmonic rhythm of the song. That's a, a 50 cent word. So a harmonic rhythm of the song, the chords are moving at the same speed as we sing this tonal pattern. Okay, so there's our deeper pattern for the first section. Second section, we do the same thing. Originally, we take out the repeated notes. Or our deeper version, which makes it So our first two together, la, do, ti, la, do, mi, re, do. that would be our deeper structure for our first two tonal patterns. Now, last two, the, the third pattern is going to be the same either way. So here's the original, the melodic. Re, re, do, do, re, re, mi. If we took out the repeated notes, We could do a deeper structure. Ta -da, it's the same. And I, we, you could say, but, but, Mrs. Rennes, I heard Ray going down to a neighbor and then back up. And I would say, ooh, now we're really thinking on a deep level. I, I wouldn't do that for our current deeper level structure here because we have a chord change there. Whoops. So let's keep those four there, unless you really want to think deeply into this. You can actually distill these down really far. You can get into graduate level stuff here. It's called Schenkerian analysis. And then you can really break these things down. So we're going just one level in here. Then last pattern, we have a couple of things going on in our last pattern. The melodic pattern is So that first part of that we could break into or hear passing tones from re to la. moving to la. So our deeper pattern there would be and then the ending originally surface level, ti, do, ti, la. deeper structure, we have another neighbor, ti, neighbor, la. so the deeper is ti, la. ending then would be re, la, ti, la. so I'm going to take you through that whole deeper structure for the entire song. I know if you're not following with me here, that's totally okay. But if you're not following, that's fine, but try this as your tonal pattern. 
that as your tonal pattern. If we were to perform that, it would sound like we just sang. If you're creating with that, you can just add something that sounds pretty similar to the original, but without some of those extra, extra things. So like, that helps you kind of hear what this outline is like. Then you can put more rhythms with that. to be on another level with this, then you could start trying to put back some passing tones. So if you have, you could go. putting in a couple of passing tones that weren't there in the beginning. Or you could try to put in a couple of neighbors. So a neighbor is, if you're going to play a note twice, then you can move away from it and come back. each one of our four patterns in the song. So try something with that. Try that deeper tonal pattern. Just use the one that I gave you. You don't have to rethink this. Um, if you're having trouble remembering it, you can uh, write it out if you're having trouble audiating that. Um, just write the first letter of each solfege syllable if you're needing a little help with that. So try that. Let me know how it goes. I would love to look at this together with you. This is giving you some deeper, more interesting things to think about with tonal patterns. See what you can do with that right now. And that's the last thing for today. We don't have a new keyboard piece. We don't have other keyboard skills. So here are your assignments. Number one, audio tracks 17 and 18. So we're back to two audio tracks. That's our song to sing and keyboard piece for unit nine. So audio tracks 17 to 18. Two, major cadences. Page 26, the right side of the page, all of those wonderful things. That's assignment number two. Number three, keyboard skills. Page 26, left side, numbers two and five. Those should both be pretty fast to work on. Number four, improv. Page 26, left side, number two. Change the tonality and meter of Daughter Come Home. That's number four. Number five, review book two, units 18 and 19. Let me know what, if you're having trouble with that, especially with the tonal pattern in German folk song. And then number six, Jingle Bells Project, page 63. You're looking at projects three and four. So this is the same thing, same idea that we did in the last unit, unit eight, last portion, unit 8A but you were doing the three major triads that are black, white, back, and then the three major triads that are oddballs playing jingle bells in those keys. That's all. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 3, Unit 8B, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.